All right, my camera fell. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so let's keep going. Um, so I have one last thing, I think, that I wanted to add. Um, time and deadlines. That's what I wanted to add. I almost forgot. So time and deadlines can be used to create urgency. So imagine that you're going to the grocery store and you want to purchase a turkey because Thanksgiving Day is about four days from now and you need to purchase an item right now so it will be reasonable in price, right? Because you know the day before Thanksgiving is crazy. They take the prices up, things like that, right? So you're already panicked. You're already anxious. You know, you don't know what to do. So let's say that somebody, um, a, a store's clerk, a store clerk comes up to you and says, you know what, we have a turkey on sale. We have actually two of them, um, but they won't be on sale much longer. So if you don't buy it today, you're going to lose it. So I would really make a decision on it today. Um, as a matter of fact, today by five o'clock would be better because a lot of people getting off of work may come in and buy this turkey right so that's creating psychological urgency right it's it's saying you know um you're gonna have to hurry up and make this person purchase and if you don't it's going to be gone um when people try to do that to my mom the first thing i say is don't fall for it you know be without a turkey like eat hot dogs for thanksgiving if you need to but please don't make a decision based solely on the fact that the store said that they're going to be sold out by 5 p.m right they're in the business to make money, not to help you. So, all right. So those are a couple things. And if you go to my website or my blog, blogs.psychcentral.com slash caregivers, you will see on my blog um, this article. So you want to type in um, manipulation or psychological urgency and it should come up. All right. So let me give you a little bit of information on what to do to deal with this. OK, so here's number one. I think when you're being forced to make a decision, whether that's forced to get married, forced to buy something, forced to be in a relationship, forced to buy a house, forced to buy a car, forced to whatever, get engaged, have a baby, go to church, whatever it is. Right. You don't want to make the decision based solely on the fact that you want the whole situation to end. That is not what you want. Right. Because now you're giving in to manipulation and once you give in to manipulation it's over from there like you've lost your power you've lost your your persona so you don't want to do that okay so here's a couple of things i suggest one is take your time slow down and act with intention and what i mean by that is make the conscious decision not to make any decisions at this particular time stop freeze and think you know that's what i tell my little um clients that i see um stop think and process 